hello viewers welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms in this session i shall explain the strassen's matrix multiplication method and i shall tell you the different steps that are involved in this method and how it is different from the traditional method of matrix multiplication before going through the steps for the strassen's matrix multiplication let us see how we normally carry out the multiplication using the traditional method for a 2 by 2 matrix that is for a n by n matrix so let us see that method normally we are writing what a matrix a we want to multiply it with the matrix b so we want to multiply the elements of two matrices here one is matrix a and another is matrix b and the resultant values are stored in the matrix c that means the resultant matrix is c so a11 a12 a21 and a22 b11 b12 b21 and b22 represents what the elements for the matrix a and b respectively c11 c12 c21 and c22 represents what the elements of the resultant matrix now let us see how we normally carry out using the traditional method so if you look here c11 how we are computing we are always multiplying the elements of the first row of the first matrix with the elements of the first column of the second matrix so we will get a11 into b11 plus a12 into b21 similarly when how do we compute c12 c12 we will take the elements of the first row of the first matrix with the elements of the second column of the second matrix then we have to compute c21 so c21 how we how do we compute we multiply what the elements of the second row of the first matrix with the elements of the first column of the second matrix then c22 how do we compute take the elements that is multiply the elements of the second row of the first matrix with the elements of the second column of the second matrix so the same thing we can just check here with an example we are taking the elements 1 2 3 and 4 as the elements of the first matrix a 5 6 7 8 as the elements of the second matrix b when we multiply with this traditional method we get 19 22 41 50 50 that is c11 is 19 c12 is 22 c21 is 43 and c22 is 50 now here we are just counting the number of multiplications and number of additions so to count the number of multiplications wherever is the multiplication operation getting performed we are denoting with a multiply symbol so we'll count those symbols here so we are counting the multiplication here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so totally we did eight multiplications here so we can write down the number of multiplications are eight how many additions we have performed 1 2 3 4 four additions are done so we can write down here four additions are carried out now why we are checking here is see we are interested in the time complexity of any problem now in this traditional method we found that in order to compute the product of two matrices for a 2 by 2 matrix we need eight multiplications and four additions so finally the conclusion is we can write in traditional method we require eight multiplications and four additions for multiplying a 2 by 2 matrices now let us see this strassen's multiplication method how it is different from the traditional method so strassen's multiplication method we are demonstrating here for a 2 by 2 matrix so we have here the elements for the matrix a elements for the matrix b and this is the resultant matrix now in order to compute the product that is the resultant matrix c strassen's makes use of this formula he says that you have to use a11 plus a22 into b11 plus b22 and you can assign it to some variable here p so this way first what he is doing is he is coming out with this formula p q r s t u v you need not give the same variable names p q r s t u v you can give any name m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 anything but these are the formulas whatever i have written here these are the formulas that are introduced by the strassen's strassen's has done some mathematical research and he has come out with this formulas so first he you have to compute this formulas and finally see what exactly we needed is we needed c11 c12 c21 and c22 so c11 is computed with p plus s minus of t plus of v so how to find out p 
P should be A11 plus A22 into B11 plus B22. Where is A11? A11 is present here in A matrix. A22 is present here in the A matrix. B11, it is B22, this one. So, you are taking the elements from this two matrices A and B and you are substituting here. You are getting the values stored in this variable P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and the same variables P, Q, R, S, T, U, V are used in C11, C12, C21 and C22 computations. So, we will just take the same example whatever we did for the traditional method. We have taken the elements of the matrix A as 1, 2, 3, 4 and elements of the matrix B as 5, 6, 7, 8 and uh, <coughs> the resultant matrix we will store it in C. So, once you substitute here, so you can see here we are computing first P. P will be what? A11 plus A22 into B11 plus B22. A11 is what? 1, element 1. A22 is 4 and B11 is 5. B22 is 8. So, you are substituting here and you got the value as 65. Similarly, you have to compute Q. Q you will get here from the formula B11 into A21 plus A22. So, same thing 5 into 3 plus 4 substitute you will get 35. Only a challenge here is you need to remember these formulas. You have to write down correctly. 1 plus or minus getting interchanged you will not get the correct value. So, that is the only challenging thing here for you. But mainly why Strassens is coming out with this method is he want to show that the time complexity using the Strassens method is reduced when compared to the time complexity for the traditional method. So, is it the time complexity really getting reduced? That also we will see in the later part of this session. Now, we will just try to finish the computations for C11. C11 how much you got? P plus S minus T plus V. So, substitute P value is 65, S value is 8 here, you are writing 8, T value is how much? 24, you are writing 24, V is how much? V is minus 30, so you are writing here, plus into minus is minus, so, so you are writing, I have written it once again here also, you can check as there is not sufficient space there, I have ma made a note for C11, C12 and C21 and C22, fine. So, these are the formulas, C C11 you are computing like this, P plus S minus of T plus of V. Okay, you got how much? 19. From where did you choose P, S, T, V? P, S, T, V is here. P, S, T, V. And what formulas you have used here? P, S, T, V. So, use the same formula, substitute and you get C12. C12 is what? R plus T. R is how much? Minus 2. T is how much? 24. You are substituting and you got 22 as the value for C12 here in the matrix. C21 what is the formula? This third one Q plus S. Q is 35 and S is 8. So, the value is 43. This is C21. C22 is how much? C22 formula is P plus R minus of Q plus U. P is 65. R is minus 2. Q is 35. U is 22. So, you will get the answer 50. Now, once you get this answer, you are placing 19, 43, 22, 50 and you can compare whatever you got with the traditional method 19, 22, 43, 50. Here also you got 19, 22, 43, 52. You can check the correctness of Strassen's multiplication by taking some other numbers and try to see whether you are getting the correct value when compared with the traditional method. Now, our job here is to count the number of multiplications also. So, let us see how many multiplications Strassen's uh, method uses. So, here you have one multiplication A11 plus A22 is getting multiplied with B11. One multiplication here 2, 3, 4, 5, here 6, 7. Totally you got 7 multiplications. What about additions? How many additions are getting performed in this method? We will count the number of additions in Strassen's method. One. 2, 3, 4, even the subtraction you have to include under addition because what is subtraction exactly? It is addition of negative numbers. 4, here you have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Totally you have 18 additions in this method. So, the same thing I am writing here in the table. 
what i am trying to tell you is in the traditional method you got eight multiplications and four additions in the strassen's method you got seven multiplications and 18 additions so which one is greater here and or i'll give you an analogy here for eight multiplications suppose if you are buying an item for rupees 8040 same item is given for a discount okay and uh, after discount you are getting the item with 7000 rupees and 180 so now if you see 7000 and 180 is lesser than what 8040 rupees same thing i am trying to tell you here even though the number of uh, additions got increased here okay in the traditional method you had four and in the strassen's method you are having 18 number of additions are increased but if you look into multiplications the number of multiplications got reduced here the number of multiplications for traditional method is 8 for strassen's method is 7 even though it got reduced by just one the impact will be more when you are trying to what multiply matrices with larger dimension definitely you will be happy when you get a discount of this much because the original item price is 8040 rupees and now you are getting at a discount of 7180 rupees this is what we are trying to tell you that the number of additions though it is increased addition operation is taking much less time compared to the multiplication operation that's the reason when the operations for the multiplication get reduced definitely the time complexity for that problem will also get reduced at present we are just checking for a 2 by 2 matrix and we have seen this is the difference between the traditional method and strassen's method same thing you can notice if you try to multiply what a larger dimension matrix wherein like 4 by 4 16 by 16 8 by 8 so all these are matrices with larger elements that time you can see much difference in the time complexity so basically what we try to tell here is strassen's method has reduced the time complexity now what was the time complexity for the traditional method and what is the time complexity for the strassen's method that we will see here so here few sentences i have written time saved is little when you try to check for what two by two matrices but time saved will be more when it is used to multiply a matrix of higher dimensions so you can check here we are showing you one more matrix 4 by 4 when you want to multiply a 4 by 4 matrix exactly what is happening is you are dividing that matrix into 4 2 by 2 matrices so here is one here is another third and four okay all 16 elements if you check in this 4 by 4 matrix are getting further divided into 4 2 by 2 matrices and each matrix inner matrix is having 4 4 elements so once you have 4 4 elements in each inner matrix you can use the strassen's method and compute for 1 2 3 4 same thing you can substitute here for the larger matrix so this is what i am trying to tell we can divide a 4 by 4 4 by 4 is how many 16 elements will be there you can put it into 4 2 by 2 matrices suppose if you have a matrix with 8 by 8 totally there will be 64 elements so that time you can form four four by four matrices if you have a matrix with 16 cross 16 okay then you can have four eight by eight matrices so this way you can keep dividing this bigger problem into smaller 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 until you reach two by two matrices the smallest one and you can compute the resultant matrix using the strassen's method since you are dividing this bigger problem into smaller sub problems the technique that this approach uses is divide and conquer approach one more important information the traditional matrix multiplication the time complexity is theta of n q now strassen's multiplication method will calculate the time complexity so in strassen's method we have seven multiplications and multiplication is the major operation so when you are writing the recursive relation you are including for the major operation that is the multiplication operation so the recursive function is given as t of n equal to if n equal to 1 t of n is 1 otherwise for all values n greater than 1 your t of n is 7 because 7 multiplications are needed 7 into t into n divided by 2 you are dividing the bigger problem into n by 2 so now we will take this equation t of n equal to 7 into t of n by 2 and we know that n is true to the power of k so in place of n you substitute 2 to the power of k will get t into 2 to the power of k equal to 7 into t here in place of n you are substituting 2 to the power of k divided by 2 
and 2 to the power of k divided by 2 you can write it as 2 to the power of k minus 1. So here this term 2 to the power of k divided by 2 you are writing it as 2 to the power of k minus 1. This 7 remains as it is. This you can call it as equation 1. Substituting k by k minus 1 in equation 1. In equation 1 we have k here. So in place of k if you substitute k minus 1 you will get t into 2 to the power of k minus 1 equal to 7 into now already 1 k minus 1 is there you are substituting in place of k k minus 1 so k minus 1 minus 1 becomes k minus 2 7 into 2 to the power of k minus 2 this is your equation 2 now substituting 2 in 1 1 is what 2 to the power of k minus 1 and you got one expression here for 2 to the power of k minus 1 so you can write here in place of 2 to the power of k minus 1 as here I have missed one t, t should come as it is. So that t is here. Equation 2 is what? t into 2 to the power of k minus 1 equal to 7 into 2 to the power of k minus 2. In equation 1, we have one term t into 2 to the power of k minus 1. So this t into 2 to the power of k minus 1, you can substitute here. I will write down once again this. So in place of this, okay, in place of this, you can substitute this one. Now after substituting in equation 1 what we will get is 7 into the 7 as it is into this one 7 into t 2 to the power of k minus 2. So after you substitute you can simplify 7 into 7 you can write down 7 square into t into 2 to the power of k minus of 2. Further substituting you will get t into 2 to the power of k minus 3 and 7 cube. So next substituting again. 7 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of k minus 4 like this now you got to know this is the resulting pattern first so first time you are getting 7 into this part and 7 square into t into 2 to the power of k minus 2 7 cube third time you are getting this pattern fourth time you are getting this pattern that means in general we can say we will get a pattern 7 to the power of k into 2 to the power of k minus k 2 to the power of k minus k is 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 0 is 1 so t of 1 this side 7 to the power of k is as it is t of 1 is how much in the recurrence relation we got t of 1 equal to 1 so this is getting substituted with 1 you will get 7 to the power of k now how do you simplify further you got 7 to the power of k so we know that n equal to 2 to the power of k and k equal to log n in place of k you are substituting what log n your expression is 7 to the power of log n to the base 2 so that can be written as n to the power of log 7 to the base 2 what is the value for log 7 to the base 2 it is 2.807 so substituting here you will get t of n equal to n to the power of 2.807 this is the time complexity obtained using the Strassen's matrix multiplication method earlier if you remember for traditional method it is t of n equal to theta of n q so here we got n to the power of 2.807 Though you may see a slight difference here, but definitely it will give a greater impact when n value is larger. We have carried out for what? n equal to 2. So this is the time complexity obtained. So Strassen has proved that it has reduced the time complexity for multiplying a n by n matrix. Definitely you can see a significant difference in time when you are multiplying matrices with larger dimensions. Hope you find this session helpful. Please like, share and subscribe.